Welcome back to Our Evening Tea. I'm Aaron, this is Anila, and today, or this evening, we're going to be talking about respect based on social standing. So if you have anything that you'd like to contribute to this episode, any thoughts that you have on what we're talking about, please leave them as a comment below, and we will see those, we'll incorporate them into a future episode on this topic. Again, so... With that, let's get into it. Respect based on social standing. Yeah. Is respect earned or Yeah, does given? anyone does everyone deserve respect? Yeah, does everyone deserve respect, exactly. I think at first everyone does deserve respect. Yeah. You can lose respect. Yeah, based sure. on what you do. Based on what you do, yeah. Um but like based on things that are out of your control, mm -hmm. I don't think um uh, Respect should be given based on things that are out of your control. You mean it um, shouldn't be taken? It should be given automatically unless yeah. you do something to lose it? Yeah. yeah. Like, like um, yeah, a lot of times people get respect <laughs> based on their looks, too. Oh, you mean extra respect, like they get... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, like, like uh, not extra respect, like some... People just like treat the people they're interested in with respect. Oh yeah, like, especially some guys do that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They only yeah. only respect women that they're uh, attracted to, or yeah, they want uh -huh, to get and with. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter how nice some some other people are, they don't respect them. <laughs> mm. But um, that's not in anyone's control. Uh, but yeah, and like. People get respected when they're rich, and yeah. um, as if that deserves respect, but whatever. That's the big one that I was actually thinking of when we came up with this topic. I was thinking in terms of like social, like class, like uh, based on money, uh -huh. monetary class. Like yeah. if you, if we, because oftentimes we do. People give re society gives respect to the rich. Yeah, more than there, they give there's that to the poor. too. But there's also like, even when people are rich, some ethnic people, some races don't get as much respect of right, like some other races. Like, like there is the like so many, oh. so many layers on it. <laughs> um, like some race rich beautiful or handsome people get more respect than a different race with Probably. the same yeah oh. <laughs> yeah and there is age there's like so many things people like consider when they show respect like um yeah it's not just respect like treating them like normal human beings yeah, I think that that is the thing I think of when I think of respect. I think of like, if you're showing someone respect, you're treating them like a human. Mm -hmm. If you're not showing them respect, you're doing the bad thing. Um, I guess until they've yeah. lost the respect. Yeah, even though even though the do. person who's not showing the respect that is doing something bad, but the person receiving less respect is the one who feels bad though. Like who, like it's yeah. like victim, victims get the, uh, I Victim guess. It. Get victims. Yeah. <laughs> victims get victims. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Victims, like the people who get le like treated bad are the ones who get affected the most too, yeah. even though they're not doing anything wrong. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, I think that everyone... To, I mean, yeah, I think everyone deserves respect. I also think that as a as a human race, we need to do a better job at automatically giving it. Uh-huh. Yeah, no matter who you're coming across. Yeah, yeah. In the, like, if you don't know them, you should respect them. Mm -hmm. But until they give you some reason to not. Like, yeah. You know, if, they, if you say, hello, sir, or hello, ma'am, um, um, hello, human that I'm looking at that's completely equal to me in every way. Uh -huh. uh, here's my 
offering to you. I'm going to treat you like I would want myself treated. And then they're like, no. And spit in your face. <laughs> then you can be like, okay, this person doesn't really deserve my respect right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is, it's it's like yeah. right now. You can lose it, but you can also earn it back. Uh-huh. Like no one, there's no one really, um, there's nothing that you can't fix by fixing yourself. If you truly like, change yourself and then you yeah. can earn that respect back yeah uh-huh in my opinion yeah that that's true but i was also thinking like for some people it's so much easier based on like circumstances to be nicer than some people uh-huh. um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, so, yeah, um, there, there, yeah, there definitely, it definitely needs to be earned, like, you, you, you can earn be, back or earn in the first place? Earn in the first place, um, so we shouldn't give someone respect? No, no, you should give everyone respect and then, like, um, uh, unless there's something that's bad, <laughs> totally, okay. like, something you don't agree with that they're doing, or they're not giving you respect or they don't value Mm -hmm. you as a person Mm -hmm. yeah um yeah that that's a lot like i also see especially like in like it's like really um crazy (laughs) it's not crazy but it's it's the social norm or whatever like the in entertainment in entertainment industry like lead people get the most respect and then yeah. like the sad ca- side characters um always get treated uh, yeah and the the unfortunate thing i think that goes with our topic is that the leads aren't necessarily leads because they've like worked hard and earned their way and they know more than the others it's like they were oftentimes it's looks yeah <laughs> or uh networking like better connections uh-huh. in, in in the industry uh-huh. um oftentimes just a lucky break and uh-huh. then because of those you know menial things they're they're given more respect that was something i wanted to say is uh is there a place in among in any sect of this topic for someone to get more respect than someone else like based on Mm -hmm. based on like you know like people give more respect to like elders for example or um the the ultra wealthy i don't think i don't see that as being deserving of more respect especially since it's Mm -hmm. it's it's pretty much impossible to get there without some Mm -hmm. help from someone else yeah but like they do get way more respect like if a billionaire walks into a room they're walking in out of a they walk in with an air and also with the support of the whole world behind them (laughs) and like a poor person walks in they're walking in like feeling out of place everywhere they go Uh so it is are they getting that respect because of the fact that they have money or are they getting that respect because of the way they carry themselves like and can you carry yourself like that if you don't have that kind of money yeah so. yeah yeah it, it's um yeah <laughs> something that really like um gets me is that these millionaires uh billionaires or whatever they donate money mm-hmm. but don't really like they donate money to saying that they want to eradicate poverty or whatever but they treat their employees like shit (laughs) (laughs) and pay them and give them the least benefits pay them um yeah um they want to eradicate a noticeable poverty that is like talked about yeah they want to get something from yeah yeah it's like uh they really want to eradicate poverty, get their employees, which is many, many people in poverty, yeah. out of that poverty. Uh-huh. Yeah. Such an easy uh-huh. thing. 
donate a little more money to the yeah, people working. You don't even have to donate. Like, just no, I, pay I, I, them for... Donate in the, in the form of their wages. Yeah. Least, it's yeah. not donate either. Like, pay them what they're working It was for. my sarcasm. <laughs> from the land. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's just like you literally are um, treating someone uh, or giving someone less than what they deserve. And then, um, like, tuning, like, oh, you have to work hard to earn your place and stuff. And then uh, showing off that you're also donating to poor people. <laughs> but it's, like, totally controversial, like, hypocrisy. Yeah. Uh, so, like, opposite of what they're saying. But mm -hmm. I feel like if you are only going to donate to people from certain areas and don't see what's happening in your... <laughs> own company or in your own thing is just like and then they also do like um i was i'm mostly talking about bill gates <laughs> and, uh -huh. small, and all the all all the big tech billionaires they always like every year at the end like end of the year's tax season or like they have this uh <laughs> um like the gala season where they do this like huge galas for like donating to the poor or whatever like um raising money for whatever they're hmm. raising money for so and, they can write it off yeah uh -huh. <laughs> and then and then um they just lay off people mm. without thinking about all the families that are getting affected yeah. by it yeah if they have the money which they do to, which to, to, they to donate do. to other people uh -huh. why don't they just leave their workers there yeah yeah and you like, have extra and money, then, leave, leave like give them work. time to yeah. um like if you really don't need them give them time to find a job and move on yeah <laughs> instead of um uh, that's a really good point that's really outside of the box way of thinking of it I had never thought of that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They're, the amount of money they're saving by the layoffs is mm -hmm. less than the amount they donate <laughs> in in the public eye to yeah. these causes. Like, yes, I did a great thing. It's not a great thing. It's, yeah, especially there's some... equal amount of people hurting because of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a... It's it's another um yeah uh, publicity another, stunt. Yeah, yeah uh, Mark Zuckerberg. The they have this like Zuckerberg Foundation where, like, they make these videos showing like they're like the best people in the world. His wife, um, li they live like really um, <laughs> basic life. Basic life, but they also have access to be able to do whatever they want to do. Um, I'm not saying they pay less, but I mean, they pay good for tech workers. I'm not sure how they pay their janitors and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, if they have money to have that whole, um, foundation and make marketing videos of how they're helping all these people in the world, I think they should look at their own company doing so many layoffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a thing on um, a YouTube channel I love called Climate Town. Um, and they, he was saying that when a company is putting money into showing the good they're doing that has nothing to do with the company, mm -hmm has nothing to do with operations of the business mm -hmm. it's a scam it's yeah. like they're they're not benefiting their company that they, they are they're benefiting their company by doing that they're not gonna they're go, benefiting their own image too. they're benefiting their image they're not gonna make like if it was another business saying look at the great th things that this that facebook did with their money look at the great things mark zuckerberg did but you who goes and like makes marketing videos to toot your own horn about charity? <laughs> yeah, if, but, if you're but not they also something make it, it seem like those videos are made by some like big magazine <laughs> to 
sh show that they're doing good but they are like releasing that information to yeah. like accepting to be on the video or yeah. to do that um, yeah climate town did it in the in the uh scope of like um oil companies mm -hmm. making videos about how they're transitioning uh to uh they, they're, to clean energy. They're, they're doing one percent uh or, or the, yeah yeah like our oil is being cleaned up by us and, and no they, they they don't mention their product one time in the video mm -hmm. it's only about something else mm -hmm. but they're using it as an ad in ad space mm -hmm. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares about that? Like, yeah, uh, yeah. it's it's a weird phenomenon to, mm -hmm. to make a. It's all about image. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they also have like corporate. Um, I I don't know what it's called, but they have this um, budget every year that they allocate to donate. I think which is also to avoid taxes. Yeah and have that like articles about oh they're donating this much to this charity or whatever mm -hmm. um but it also is like uh in the companies i've worked before like you um you make you make people choose um uh, the charities and people do put charities that are like really small and really needing money to actually do the stuff but most of the times uh, the big companies uh like no kid hungry and th those kind of things which have a lot of uh, marketing they are non-profit i'm not saying they're for profit but they get selected most of the times yeah, because people know that and nobody has they don't even give that much time to people to actually read everything and vote for it like it should be like part of your day right you are spending that day mm -hmm. to actually read to vote for it but people don't really spend that much time to actually find so that is a biggest scam too <laughs> you should uh expand upon your explanation i never knew because i didn't know what you're talking about uh, until uh you went through it i never knew that was a thing oh yeah so, you so tell them what it is Oh, so it's like a common practice um, in big tech, I guess, in my industry. It, Maybe big corporations. Big probably. corporations, but um, probably tech. I don't know, but it's like around, um, there is this like charity season um, every year, which is around um, end of the year in December for holiday season. <laughs> um, they have this like... Um, they'll ask all the employees to nominate their favorite charity and why they think people should vote for it but most of the people don't really get the time to actually do that to read up on or whatever charities you would want to nominate like small charities they would just nominate the biggest charity they know yeah um, and then the company donates to the top yeah, yeah yeah and, and then they ask people to vote on it and then they donate um whatever to that big charity mm -hmm. yeah. it should be like a uh, ranked choice voting should be you um, know but, but like uh everyone uh nominates a charity and then the percentage each charity is given in votes is how much the percentage of the donation pool should be divvied out to those charities yeah yeah that sounds that sounds like a great idea um but yeah even like that would work like for some of the small small organizations which are like local organizations which don't market themselves so much but are doing pretty good job um that much money would be a lot of money and they would have they would probably be able to local charities i feel like actually have uh, connections with the people mm -hmm. like actually yeah. understand what people need um yeah. and put that money towards that like because they're living there they know yeah. they know their community yeah. uh -huh. better than a large organization can yeah. come in and yeah because everywhere is not the same yeah 
Um, yeah, that that's that. But anyways, let's come back to the topic. Oh yeah. <laughs> even that, like, even in the charity world, that's that's like doing good job, right? But um, not everyone gets treated the same, even in that world. Yeah. Yeah, like. The little guy gets the crap end of the stick. Yeah, even though they actually are personally involved with the community yeah. and actually know the people mm. and can help the best way instead of like huge corporations um, just like putting like uh, PETA uh, they spend so much money in marketing with like I don't know. I don't know if people do it for free, but like they have huge celebrities doing these photo shoots um, in cages and stuff. Mm -hmm. As if you need to see people in cages to actually understand that what animals are going through. Uh, I don't know. I, I and also like those people who are in cages are like fully makeup and uh, it's not. It, it's like. But for a photo shoot, how are you going to get that emotions from them, from people, yeah. uh, the same as putting actually animals, what animals Taking are going through? Taking pictures in an actual situation. Yeah. With the real yeah. animals. Yeah. They literally hide a lot of things in the media to make it tasteful, which is ridiculous shit. Mm. <laughs> um, like, they don't show gory stuff. Like to make it, I guess, um, PG thirteen or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it's that like everyone everywhere, it, the social standing is how the respect or, um, <clears throat> yeah, a lot of things are based on, which is bullshit needs to change yeah i agree i think everyone is deserving of respect and um there should that i mean it's respect is respect there's no like more respect or less respect it's either respect or no respect uh -huh. and a lot of people to give more respect to one person and less respect to one person that's just disrespecting the uh -huh. less yeah it's not yeah. like giving them some yeah can't give some yeah and um one thing that um that really i think about it is like um some people when they don't get respect um they <laughs> reverse of uh, the everything they receive like uh what i'm talking about is like in t some tv shows they are like um white kids would bully asian kids saying oh your food stings and things like that mm -hmm. and then now it's like now it is it's like a thing um in um kids uh is a uh, asian kids say oh you're eating chips for lunch again you're mm. eating uh that's like totally disrespecting disrespect whole culture again <laughs> so because they disrespected your whole culture you're disrespecting their whole culture instead of giving yeah i think kindness yeah, is legacy. like yeah. yeah uh it's hard it's really hard i wouldn't i would get really upset too but um um if if you don't show kindness then um it's just going to go back and forth yeah way. yeah there's a line in there somewhere about um if uh if what you're doing is moving your cause forward of not being disrespected by the other person sure go for it but if it's not moving it forward and you're just doing it out of spite then it's uh, mm -hmm. hurting more than it's helping. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm thinking in terms of like in terms of um, like racism. Um, so where especially in 
I can think in terms of the U.S. and scope of the United States, because this is where I was, most of my life has been spent. Um, so minorities in this country are, have been um, uh, disrespected and put down and put in a worse situation since the inauguration of this country, since before it. Um, since you know, Europeans first landed on this country. It's been um, non-Europeans are given a second class. Mm -hmm. um, and so how do you combat that? Like, I think there's a fine line. The, the line I'm talking about is when you're combating it as a minority, um, a non-European in this case, uh, is it helpful to then just be racist towards white people or towards Europeans? Uh, if it is, then sure, but it's never, but it wouldn't be because racism is wrong in the first place. Um, but is it where, at what level of like giving back their taste and their medicine, is it helpful? And find that level and do it, definitely. But mm -hmm. But I feel like a lot of people are just like, well, they treated me bad, so I'm going to treat them bad. And I that doesn't that. do... Yeah, I mean, a lot of people do that, but it doesn't It doesn't help. Actually. Yeah, well, yeah. It, it goes back to where it's like you have... Um, yeah, having a good um, motivators or role, mo role models really help. Um, I always look for role models. Mm -hmm. And uh, based on the situation, I try to think of my role models, but sometimes it's impossible to yeah. like, go through your notes and do what's the best. <laughs> yeah, in a, when the moment arises. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but I feel like the more people are kinder, the easier it gets to... Uh, to do it naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. To not just like... Yeah, and also understanding each other's situations really help. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the biggest, um, when I thought of this topic, I was actually thinking, like, I just saw this, like, um, Nitesh, uh, no, <laughs> Nita and Mukesh Ambani uh, cultural center thing, uh, the whole, like, all the celebrities that were there. And the pa paparazzi mm -hmm. were like, just like being sarcastic and teasing all the celebrities, like calling names and stuff. Um, it's like just making fun. If if like most people take it as they're just making fun, it's just a joke. If you can't take a joke, you shouldn't be whatever. But they, the paparazzi, never. I did not see any video of them making jokes of actual. Ambani family uh -huh. like they treat them like oh they're so nice man with respect and stuff mm -hmm. and then um like how can you take jokes as jokes if it's only directed towards one section yeah. mm -hmm. and not directed towards everyone yeah um like uh when people make things like oh this feminist got offended because of this joke but you are a ma man making jokes about women and in a in a really condescending derogatory yeah. way, um, and then you're not making jokes about men, other people like men or other like the opposite of who you're making jokes on. Then how can you take them as jokes? Yeah. Yeah, there were like so many videos on like Instagram, like everyone is talking about like how the papar paparazzi is calling all these celebrities. Um, and then I'm like, uh, how can you take them as jokes when you don't see them doing that to these people as if they deserve more respect for them? Yeah, actually that, that um, goes to racism as well. Yeah. Uh, back to the kids in lunch. Yeah. Um, if, if, yeah, like if the white kids talking about the Asian kids food, um, is just a joke, just playful, 
but they but the Asian kids talk back about the white kids' food food and all of a sudden it's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Well then no, then the white kids talking about the Asian kids' food was disrespectful in the first place. Yeah. And yeah. people do that all the time. Like bullies like, can't take their own Yeah. Uh, and then they can like, joke about it, but when they get when they get it back it's like they, they need yeah, to start a yeah. fight about it. It's like, they're just being a bully. Yeah. And then like even in like bullying, like when pe kids like literally verbally abusing another kid the whole time doesn't get in trouble mm -hmm. but the kid who was abused verbally if they can't take it and then started physically abusing they get in trouble yeah uh like how how do the they where's decide? the line drawn yeah yeah oh, yeah i mean if, verbal like, abuse is bad yeah, uh, like mental. physical. Physical is is bad, but like if you're gonna but verbally abuse someone, I think verbal that should, abuse should is worse. Right. Uh, like it, it well, like physical abuse is, or like fighting back. Like physical verbal, abuse is is. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's it's, 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 it's bad. bad, but like, but you can see like someone is physically abusing, and that is considered that is taken like really seriously. But it can be stopped easier. Yeah. Yeah. It can be stopped easier, but verbal abuse is like stays with you for life. Like people stay. Well, physical abuse too. So yeah. Be for life. But it's harder to recognize verbal abuse, and it could last. Uh huh. Or they could be abusing you for a very much longer time. Yeah. Before they're stopped. Yeah. 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 Mm. The whole thing is like bullshit. But yeah, even in that, like there is like levels. <laughs> And who decides the levels? It should be decided on by me who is being abused. If I yeah. say that really hurt, they need to get punished. Or they need to stop. They need to stop, but if they're not stopping... If they don't stop, they need to be punished. But kids, yeah. um, if they don't listen, adults need to intervene and be like, that's not good, you're getting punished for it. Yeah. <laughs> not just like when it leads to like serious problem mm -hmm. um, it usually does escalate like if something yeah. isn't done at first it'll yeah. escalate and get worse until it becomes a big big problem yeah like i hate when people say grow up hair or <laughs> whatever mm -hmm. and um and all these like putting down people and then oh you can't take a joke this feminist in this crowd can't take a joke or this whatever like this liberal uh liberal mm -hmm. leftist can't take a joke <laughs> but that's not true if you make jokes about everyone i'll take it yeah but if you're only making targeted jokes on different minorities no i'm not taking it yeah and like the assumptions people make just to make them feel better is bullshit too. What do you mean? Assumptions? Uh, like, sometimes people like assume, oh, she, she just got that promotion because she's pretty or whatever and random things. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Like, people make assumptions on other people's relationships. Uh, or like, even if they don't make assumptions, they make it seem like uh, it's not real or whatever to make themselves feel better. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's I mean, there is a saying like if your man only respects you because he's interested in you and doesn't respect any other woman, mm -hmm. then he's not a good man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to say on the on the topic topic of respect in society? I, I, I think, think I got most of what yeah, I want to say. I think out. we covered most of it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well. Yeah. Then we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Um, if you all have anything that you want to contribute, again in the comments, leave those below, and we'll touch it back on on this topic at a later time. If not, then I think that's it. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.